Good morning. Today is Friday, April 15th, 2022, and it is day number 97 in my fasting journey. Yesterday, I weighed in at 169.6 pounds, and this morning, I was kind of expecting this. I was hoping it wouldn't happen, but I gained um, six tenths of a pound, putting me back in the 170s. I am at 170.2 pounds, but that's fine. I'm doing rolling 72s right now. I am in round 16, and I am about 21 hours in. So um, within the next day or two, I will be back in the 160s. And I'm thinking that today's trip to the 170s is probably my last trip to the 170s. I'm thinking this round of rolling 72s will... Let me have a big enough dent in the 160s so that in the future when I do have refeeds, I don't have to worry about going back to the 170s. And so um, I am not, you know, bothered by six tenths of a pound. Um, as a matter of fact, I am pleased that that's all I gained because I think my biggest gain on this current fasting journey that I'm on um, was 2.2 pounds. And I think that was around day number 46. And... Um, I think the meal that did me in was this like amazing salad. Um, it had le uh, cucumbers, tomatoes, onions, pepperoncinis, olives, and it was just chock full of feta cheese. And um, cheese, you know, just does not agree well with my body. It either causes me to have a stall or a gain. And in most cases, it's, it's a gain. And so... On this day in question, I gained 2.2 pounds, and that's when I realized that I probably need to keep, you know, cheese products out of my uh, diet if I'm trying to, you know, get to my goal weight. So I really haven't had cheese, much cheese, um, on this fasting journey, and there was definitely a reason for that. But like 2.2 pounds on day number 46, that actually is nothing compared to my biggest gain of all time after a refeed. And so back in 2013, I had just completed a 21 day juice fast and I was fasting on store-bought juice. Not healthy, but I didn't know any better at the time. And so um, I broke my fast with fruit and then I moved on to vegetables and then nuts and meat. And on this particular day in question, I had discovered these like garlic and onion flavored macadamia nuts and basically just like lost my mind over them and ate the entire bag. And then later for dinner that evening, I had um, broccoli and beef. And when I got on the scale the next day, I was absolutely devastated to see that I gained seven pounds, a little over seven pounds. And at the time, I wasn't like savvy enough to know that the gain that I was looking at on the scale was a combination of water weight and the weight of the food, you know, sitting inside my body. And so I figured, you know, I've gained all this weight. Let's just, you know, continue on and um, on this journey of having junk food. And um, I just kind of went back to my old ways and within no time at all, all the weight that I had lost on that 21 day fast was gone. And, um, and I had gained, you know, even more weight. And so, um, when I see like small gains these days on the scale of like six tenths of a pound here, maybe eight tenths of a pound, I don't get worked up about it because in the back of my head, I think of that time when I gained a little over seven pounds after a refeed and, um, so seven pounds versus six tenths of a pound, I'll take six tenths of a pound any day. So I'm not, you know, upset about it. It just comes with the territory of doing rolling 72s. You can always expect a little bit of a gain after the rolling 72s when you have a refeed. And I think one of the reasons why I'm having small gains um, after um, I have a refeed is because I'm kind of focusing my refeeds on um, whole foods, um, mostly meat. On occasion, I will have like fruit or a vegetable as like a side dish. But for the most part, I'm just kind of focusing on meat, like refeeds. And when you eat meat, it is really like hard to like overeat meat. 
because there's just something in your brain that signals to you um, that you're full and need to stop eating when you eat meat. And so um, I think that this is something that I'm going to stick with for a long time because when I eat like junk food and things like that, there is no signal that goes to my brain to tell me to stop and I just keep going. And so I think that's definitely one of the reasons why I'm having small gains after a refeed. So um, anyways, what I had for my refeed yesterday was salmon. And if you've seen my previous videos, then you know that I don't care all that much for salmon. But I figured yesterday was the perfect day for me to have a salmon refeed because I am struggling with allergies. And um, yesterday I didn't have a sense of taste or sense of smell. And so I figured this is the perfect day to have salmon because I won't have to worry about tasting it. So um, I had half a pound of salmon and that was about 415 calories. And I'll be honest with you, that seemed excessive, but that's just what the internet said, that half a pound of salmon is about 415 calories. And um, I used olive oil to coat the pan that I baked the salmon in and I used about three tablespoons. And so I think that is about 360 calories. So um, if I've done my math correctly, I had about 775 calories yesterday for my refeed. And um, like I said, since I'm dealing with allergies and I can't taste, I didn't really bother to um, flavor the salmon. I did sprinkle some salt on it just because I feel like my body probably could use a little bit of extra salt. And um, I also put a little bit of cayenne pepper on the salmon because I was kind of hoping that that would unclog my sinuses. And I think it helped just a little bit. Um, and so I'm very thankful for that. My sense of taste and my sense of smell are back. Not 100%, but um, they're definitely back. Um, and so that was my refeed yesterday. And um, my next refeed is on Sunday. And I'm kind of excited because... My mom said that she is going to be cooking um, beef stew on Sunday, and that's one of my um, all-time favorite meals. So I have basically have invited myself over to have dinner with her, um, and so I'm really looking forward to that. I'm hoping that she follows through um, with that. Um, she's an amazing cook, and me, not so much. I've just started cooking this year, um, and so... Um, the thought of having like this really like delicious like home cooked meal I am so excited about so that's probably what I will be doing for my next refeed so um anyways I think that's gonna be it for today I will be back tomorrow um I hope that you have a good Friday I will see you tomorrow take care bye